I see what old chaps and chavettes go, chap and birdie her. Yes. Yes, indeed, fellows, and we are discussing in this videogram the question, should Nintendo's new game, Metroid Prime Federation Force, be cancelled? Well, yes, indeed, and why are we asking this question? Well, as you may know, at E3, Nintendo announced they were going to do the next uh, Metroid Prime game. Uh, in quotes, and yes, very big quotes, quotes there. And used, well, tentatively there, uh, because um, this Metroid Prime game involved, uh, what, a game called uh, Federation Force on the 3DS. And to put it simply, or very basically to start off with, fans were absolutely enraged. Uh, you could say uh, that. What they saw. You could say that, fellas. Now, of course, what we are dealing with here is a new game on Nintendo's 3DS console scheduled for 2016, which seems to involve a cartoonized, sort of cell shaded version of the Metroid universe starring none other than the Galactic Federation Space Marines. That's right, not yes. Samus, but uh, cute, sort of deformed versions of the Space Marines with their cute little helmets and strange squat builds. It's really quite strange, I have to say. Well, it is quite, quite strange, and for those uh, fans of the game, they will understand um, just how uh, what an uproar that might give to put the Metroid Prime name to it. Now, uh, it looks, yes. perhaps some have said that it looks a little bit like the sort of uh, a sort of an, an eShop third-party game, as it were, that you might expect to find. Uh, well, it, it does. It, it does. Not unfun to play, but should it have the Metroid Prime name with it? We have to give ourselves a bit of background here, I believe. Of course, we have been now some eight years without what fans might consider a good Metroid or a Metroid Prime game game. That is a very long time for fans to wait. Now, of course, at E3 this year, people were undoubtedly expecting Nintendo to say something or announce something to do with Metroid. They most certainly were, there's no doubt about it. In fact, we thought ourselves that there may be something said about a Metroid game at E3. That's right. And uh, there was a lot of fans that, you know, sort of drooling there and, and sort of uh, yelping and whatever at the, at the, the, the gate, as it were, thinking, oh, yes, 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 surely a Metroid, surely a Metroid, surely a Metroid. They're, they're, that's right. There were rumours course... flying around and people were expecting to see Samus in her fully suited HD glory this year. Most certainly they were. Now, instead, um, the, uh, the Muppets gave them this. The Muppets. Yes, well, you, see, they, you they, could they, say that. Well, yes, of course, did. we had the Muppet Show prior to the event, perhaps quite appropriate for this particular launch. So we uh, were presented instead of Samus uh, with this um, this contraption on 3DS, which seems to involve uh, small teams of Federation Marines going around different worlds, shooting monsters uh, akin to a bit like a space version of Monster Hunter with guns. Yes, indeed. Now, there are sort of, you know, uh, metroid type monsters within it. And yes. Of course, we've got Federation troops, etc. I'm even told or have heard that Samus herself or does put some form of appearance in at some time. Um, I, I'm not sure if I really want to see Chibi Samus, to be honest, old boy, or deformed Samus, but there we are. Now, of course, in the Metroid Prime series, what uh, confuses me somewhat is the Galactic Federation troopers were always the ones to get themselves eaten, squashed, stomped, horribly mutilated, or otherwise turned into alien beasts and generally disposed of before Samus arrived. They were. So, I mean, in this particular game, you've got the Galactic Federation Marines actually playing the heroes and basically doing Samus' job. I mean, well, for a yes. start, that's completely against the overall lore of the series, old chap. Uh, well, most certainly it is. Now, we're trying to come from an impartial sort of, um, uh, you know, direction here, and leaving it up to you listeners to see what you think. And it would seem that the community as a whole doesn't think much of a game that's entitled uh, Metroid Prime without Samus at the front of the hill. Exactly. It's a little bit, uh, shall we say, misleading on the hill to call this a Metroid Prime game when really, I mean, at, at the base level, it's got absolutely nothing at all to do with Metroid Prime. There's no Samus, there doesn't appear to be any phase on, the graphics aren't there, the storyline's not there. This is really, a, shall we say, a break in tradition from the series, and certainly not what fans were expecting to see after such a long absence since the last Metroid Prime game. Almost certain. I think such a long absence as you say, and then to produce this, this is very, very strange indeed. That's right. So what sort of reaction have we been seeing from the community? How have fans been expressing expressing their distaste with this game, old chap. Well, I believe um, Nintendo uh, put it up on their site, I believe, or one of their sites, I think, um, showing footage and general um, uh, you know, gameplay of the game. On YouTube? Well, I believe it was. Right. Uh, now, this video uh, managed to rack up 6,000 likes. Right. Which is not bad, not I suppose. Not bad. But unfortunately, it has, at the time of this particular uh, news article here that we are currently embarking upon, has received 59 thousand dislikes 59,000 59, dislikes 59,000 dislikes right. now that is a lot 
That's a big sign. Saying, That's a lot of dislikes. We're not happy at all. Uh, yes, that is of course a rather large and uh, shall we say quite unprecedented backlash from the community there, Almost who are certainly. clearly saying that this is not the Metroid game we were looking forward to Almost or certainly. that we hoped for. Now, also to make matters worse, I understand one enterprising fan actually went out and created some kind of petition asking for the cancellation of this game. Almost certainly, it stirred up such a froth of feeling about the whole thing that some community or person individual or whoever, has gone along and placed a petition online calling, as you say, for it to be cancelled. And I understand that there's quite a lot of people now that have signed the thing. Indeed. I believe, how many signatures has this reached, old chap, at the time of speaking? Well, I believe at the time of speaking, this uh, petition has reached some 18,000 signatures. My word, and that's not just dislikes. That's outright 18,000 people saying, we want this game to be cancelled. It's a strong, strong voice uh, from the community saying that we're very unhappy happy about this game indeed. Right, indeed. So it seems to me, Fidelz, as if this particular game here actually involves teams of four hunters fighting the space pirates and various enemies and, uh, you know, putting them in cages, that kind of thing. And also, there's actually no player-to-player -player combat in this game, unlike, say, the Halo or Metroid Prime 2 approach. No, there doesn't seem to be. No, no, indeed. It's just, uh, and of course, it's on handheld as well, so you've got a much smaller screen you're playing there. Um, but, I mean, as far as cancelling the game goes, um, and they're calling for the cancellation of the game, um, I'm not sure whether that's uh, the way to go. Well, um, but well. But I, I think certainly that um, there's going to be some people, perhaps, who will play this game. They like it. Well, Some it... people might think, well, it's fun. Perhaps those that don't know the Metroid series or whatever. Um, well, yes, yes, I, there I is that to it, I suppose. I think what the fans are trying to say here is, look, we don't want this game. We want Metroid Prime as we were expecting it. That is Samus in all her, all her sort of 3D good uh, high graphic glory um, on a yes. decent platform with some quality cutscenes and cin cinematics etc and so forth we don't want this uh, exactly we don't want this uh, sort of childish sort of uh, extremely low budget approach that Nintendo seem to be going for here although of course one thing we have to say and one thing as, as a long time Metroid fan I have to say is when I first saw the gameplay of this game aside from the obvious disappointment that this was not the Metroid Prime I was looking for I did notice the game itself didn't really look all that bad to be honest well, exactly. No, no, indeed. If, um, you, if you just put Samus and Metroid out of the equation, just pretend it's called Federation Force, not yes. Metroid Prime. Yes. Uh, just from a purely gameplay standpoint, it actually looks okay and quite fun. Almost certainly, yes, indeed. Uh, from a gameplay side of things, it, it looks to be a playable game. A game yes. that you could play and fiddle around with and have some fun with, certainly. As I but, say, very much akin to the Monster Hunter approach with teams of four hunters taking down large beasts. Yes, indeed, most certainly. But the mistake that I think they've made here is daring, if you like, uh, to call it a Metroid Prime game. Yes. Um, when the fans have been looking for good old Samus to come back for years and years and years. And now why have they done this, we don't well, know. Well, I can tell you, I've played one or two Metroid Prime games in my time, quite a few in fact, and I can say from experience, this that you are seeing here is not a Metroid Prime game. Oh no! Okay, no, no, that's, no. that's not Metroid Prime. That is no. a, um, shall we say, a 3DS-based um, monster-capturing hunter simulator involving uh, space lasers and guns and things. It's certainly not Metroid Metroid. For a start, Samus isn't even there. No, but so, so I, I don't think you can really call this Metroid and not feature Samus. That's a bit off, really. No. Um, and of course, I think what Nintendo are doing here, perhaps, is taking advantage of the Metroid license and saying, well, you know, you asked for a Metroid game, here it is. But the fans have understandably said, no, 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 this isn't Metroid at all. You can't do this to us. Most certainly they have indeed. They voiced a big opinion there with those, you know, petition 18,000, uh, 59,000 dislikes on the video, etc. Yes. But the thing is, you see, why have they done this? Why have Nintendo made this move? I mean, it, it, it affected them so so wildly, that along with the other dis general disappointments from the fans on E3 and what they produced, their stocks are actually dropped sharply. Really? The stocks on the stock market the next day, most certainly. I see. Hmm. So why do it? Well, I think perhaps one thing we could consider here is perhaps they did it because, well, on purpose, to generate some form of interest or to test the market of the interest that there often is in the fans, I beg your pardon, for another Metroid game. Right. Um, you know, uh, now, we okay. don't know if this is the case, but whether it was done on purpose or perhaps 
it's a knock-on effect of it, Nintendo now know that there is a lot of interest from fans for another big Metroid, proper Metroid uh, Prime title. Uh, okay, so basically what you're saying here is that uh, Nintendo have said, um, we're not really very confident in Samus or Metroid as a series, so what we'll do is we'll give them a, um, a sort of rushed half excuse for a game, see just how angry uh, they get about this, and then of course use that to judge how much interest there would be in a really sort of a amazing HD Samus type of game. Well, well, yes, that's a broad way of saying it. As you say, I don't think Pat, it may have been. They may not have planned that at all. They might. It, it might have been something behind it. Let's just see how we get on with this. Well, yes. But they may not have thought it at all. But whether they did or whether they didn't, they now know uh, that the fans that are there. And as we just as we just said, in order for Nintendo to produce the next proper Metroid Prime game, they're going to have to shell out some cash. Uh, yes. The, the fans are going to expect proper cinematics. Proper graphics, good quality graphics on a good platform, not on a handheld. They're going to want it to, um, you know, tick every box, as it were. So Nintendo would have to put some money out of it. Now, if they, they're not sure how many viewers they're going to get, or buyers, should I say, they're going to get, they're going to be uncertain, perhaps, on that. But at least they know now they can go ahead and do the darn thing, and people are going to buy it. I mean, goodness me, we've got 59,000 likes, dislikes alone just on a YouTube video. Right, so what you're saying is they're going to use the fan backlash here to judge the interest in a proper Metroid game. And I think that's quite an interesting way I to think look you at have it. To, yes. If nothing else, they certainly have uh, the uh, the lesson from this experience that there are indeed many Metroid fans clamoring for our proper oh, Samus yes. game, and they shouldn't attempt to stamp all over our, our beloved and valuable Samus license here with such well a bit of an appalling game, old chap. Oh, most I mean, yes. I mean, the fans are spitting mad. Yes, mad. I quite understand it, old chap, because uh, like many fans, uh, no doubt out there, I was also looking forward to the next exciting HD outing of Samus, and this is certainly not it, old boy. Oh no, 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 certainly not. not Nothing to do with it whatsoever. I mean, this is the kind of game you you know you sort of um you you vaguely pencil it in your, on your on your diary perhaps and say that might be a bit of a laugh next year perhaps sometime on a rainy day. But this is not the next Samus game that you start sort of uh, you know uh, queuing up now for outside the game shop. No, indeed. But of course the question is, should this game be cancelled? I mean, I don't know what the chaps, chapettes, and general listeners out there think. Um, no doubt they'll earn their opinions. But the thing is. What do you think? Do you think it should be cancelled? Well, I think perhaps, I think the answer to that is no. If you ask me if the game were cancelled, it would be perhaps a bit of a waste of this whole game mechanic idea. I think it would be somewhat fun to see how this plays out. At the very worst, perhaps Nintendo might consider uh, taking the Metroid name away from the license, but of course in doing so, they'd have to basically rework the game from the ground up. So that's an unlikely event, I think, old chap. Well, most certainly, yes. I think, as we said earlier, it's a playable game, it has its interest, people will play it, and I think they'll have fun with it, no doubt about it. Yes, Indeed. Oh. Well, there you are, Fadils. Do let us know what you think. Should this game be scrapped? Should it be taken to market? Is it a bit of a, uh, shall we say, um, uh, an insult to the Metroid license? Are you looking forward to a proper Metroid game? Let us know what your thoughts are, Fadils. Oh, please do. This has indeed been Game Chef and Bertie, then bringing you news on this rather controversial Nintendo game, Metroid Prime Federation Force. Thank oh, you, yes. Fadils. I'm looking forward to seeing you once more in the next exciting article, guys. Hey. Until yes, then. Me.